Excavator quick hitches are made differently by different manufacturers. In this video, we're going to go over the difference between cast steel quick hitches and welded frame quick hitches. Keep watching this video to find out more. So what are cast steel quick hitches? Cast steel hitches are created by the pouring of molten material into a cast or a mould which comes out after solidifying and cooling down as one solid material. Once a mould is created, the manufacturing process has become highly efficient which allows for large scale production and the lowering of cost over time. Cast steel hitches have five main steps of production. So step one of the process is creating a mould. So first off you start off by creating mould that's desired shape of the quick hitch that you hope to produce. To create this mould, this is essentially done by creating the hitch out of a solid billet of steel which is then pressed into sand. This then creates an indentation in the sand that creates precisely the quick hitch you hope to produce. The reason why sand is used in this creation of the mould is because it captures very fine and minute detail and it's highly adaptable so it can pick up things like logos and small impressions that you leave in the design of your hitch. The form is then carefully removed and the shape that's left into the sand will then form the mould for your quick hitches. The second step in the process is the pouring of the molten steel. So after the mould is prepared, steel is heated up to very high temperatures of 1400 degrees celsius or 2,552 degrees Fahrenheit, which becomes a liquefied state and then can be poured into the mold. Various elements like chromium or molybdenum can be added to the steel to increase its hardness or wear resistance. The molten steel fills the cavity and into any of the minute details that you've etched into the mold. The next step in the process is the cooling and solidification of the steel you've just poured into the mold. Once the mold is filled, the steel starts to cool down and solidify, taking shape of the mould that you've created. During the cooling and solidification, the steel undergoes a transformation from a liquid state to a solid state, forming a single continuous piece of steel. The cooling process is critical for achieving the strength and durability that cast steel is known for. By cooling in the mould, the steel maintains its shape and forms a seamless structure. The fourth step in the process is quality control. So once the casting is removed from the mould, it undergoes a series of quality control checks to ensure that it meets the specification and drawing. Inspections often include ultrasound testing or x-ray radiography to detect any imperfections in the cast such as voids or cracks. Each frame is also visually checked upon its dimensions to check that it meets the specification and the drawing. Step five of the process is the finishing touches. So the finishing touches will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but in the final stage of the Rhinox cast steel hitch manufacturing process, the hitch cast is heat treated to further harden the steel. The casting then undergoes a machining process, which then allows us to add any other extras later in the process. Before the final assembly, the hitch is then painted and once dry, the casting is then fitted with additional components such as springs, bosses or cast steel latches. Now that you understand how a cast hitch is manufactured and the processes behind it, let's now move on to fabricated steel hitches. What are fabricated or welded steel frame quick hitches. So the simple description of it is, is that simple shapes and components are cut out of sheet steel, which are then all welded together to create a final coupler frame. Fabricated hitches makes it easier for manufacturers to change dimensions and configurations for customized quick hitches, especially in small batch production or highly specialized hitches such as mix and match hitches, for example. Fabricated steel hitches have three main processes. The first step of the process is the material cutting and shaping. This process starts by selecting the sheet or bars of steel which are then cut and shaped and bent to the specific requirements of the quick hitch. Precision tools such as CNC machines or laser cutters are often used to achieve accurate dimensions and clean edges. After cutting the steel, these pieces of steel may go through bending machines or brake presses to create the curves or angles for the desired specification of the hitch. The second step of the process is the welding up of the small components you have just cut out of sheet material. Once the final components have been cut out, you can then move on to 
positioning and welding together all the steel components which then create your final frame of the quick hitch. The welding process must be precise because if there are weak or uneven welds on the hitch this may compromise the strength or the performance of the hitch itself. Depending on the design different welding techniques may be used such as TIG, MIG or robotic welding dependent on the steel thickness and the design of the hitch. The third step in the process is the inspection and testing of the fabricated frame. After the welding is complete, just like we said earlier for the cast steel hitches, the steel fabricated frame has to go through an inspection and testing phase to make sure that it meets all functional and structural requirements. The inspection includes a combination of visual checks to make sure that there's no cracks or misalignment or uneven welding on the frame. Another check that's done is the measurements to test its accuracy to the drawing. This is otherwise known as the tolerances. These thorough inspections ensure that the welded quick hitch meets all safety and structural requirements before it's approved for sale. Now that you know the differences between the manufacturing processes of the two different types of hitch, watch this video here to see the pros and cons of each from the strength and cost and also the maintenance requirements. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Push it. Steel car, uh, fabricated hitches have three 